Hey guys, what's up? It's Masadonis3 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to increase the performance of your PC if it's been acting up lately or if it's just running really slow. So I'm going to teach you guys how to bump it up to so it can perform at its fullest. So before we get started, I just want to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I'm on my way to 8,000 subscribers and all hope is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to show you guys how to do is actually erase your temporary files. And this is actually a controversial kind of thing, but um, it's been proven many times that actually deleting your temporary files actually does increase the performance of your computer, but a lot of people say it doesn't, but I've done a decent amount of research and I've seen that it actually does. So essentially what you have to do is go down here and type in run and uh, go ahead and click enter. And if you're unfamiliar with what this is, it's actually, um, it's been used for a bunch of operating systems in the past. But essentially it opens up an application or like a document or a folder uh, and as long as you know like this kind of thing and you don't you don't have to know like the full path then uh, it will basically open it up for you. I, I think that was a pretty horrible explanation but let's just go on with it. Essentially all you have to do is type in the percent symbol temp and then percent. I'll have it on the screen and then all you have to do is click on OK. And once you do that all you have to do you're going to see a bunch of folders in here and you're going to you can probably recall never making any of these. So all you have to do is click on Control A on your keyboard and then click the delete key. You're probably going to see this right here and it's going to say folder access is denied or it might say that something's being used right now. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on do this for all items and click on skip. So it's going to delete as many as it actually can. So as you can see it couldn't delete these ones and this one is actually in use. So just go ahead and click on this one more time and click on skip. So essentially um, it's going to say that it can't be deleted because it might be being used in the background or something like that. And there's a chance you'll get an error like that. Alright guys, so um, it did delete as much as it could, and now the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to adjust your PC so it can perform at its fullest. So what you're going to do is right click on where it says this PC and click on properties. And from there go to advanced system settings, and then go make sure you're on the advanced tab, and make sure you go to performance, and then click on settings. Chances are that you're already going to be selected on let Windows choose what's best for my computer, or you might have something on custom. But for your computer to perform at its fullest, I highly recommend putting it to adjust for best performance then go ahead and click apply. Um, once you've done all of that, you can go ahead and close out of these windows and open up your recycling bin. You're going to see that all these folders are actually in here So uh, from when you delete all the temporary things. So all you have to do from here is go ahead and empty your recycling bin. Alright guys, so the next thing that I'm going to actually teach you guys how to do is actually go ahead and uninstall programs that you don't use anymore or don't, that you don't actually remember installing. So what you want to do is right click on the start button and go to control panel. From here go to uninstall program and look around and see if you can find something that you don't remember installing. You're actually going to see a lot of things that are by Microsoft and honestly if the publisher is Microsoft Corporation, I highly recommend keeping it there because it probably helps your computer in one way or another. But if there's things like uh, games that you don't remember installing or programs and stuff like that, I highly recommend just go, go ahead and uh, click on them and then click on uninstall. Alright guys, so I got one more thing to show you and that's actually disabling things on startup. So say when you start up your computer and you actually log in, a bunch of things actually pop up like your browsers, iTunes, Spotify, stuff like that. So basically to actually turn those off, you have to right click on your uh, taskbar right here and click on task manager. And I'm pretty sure you can probably just do a quick search down here, but from there all you have to do is click on startup. And uh, there's actually a chance that you're not going to see uh, what I just showed you. So all you have to do is click on more details like that button right there. And then go ahead and click on startup. And you can look through and see uh, what actually starts up when you start up your PC I guess. And uh, so as you can see Google Chrome does start up when I start up my PC. And I actually don't like that. I like uh, my desktop to be completely clear when I start it up. So I'm, all I'm going to do is go ahead and disable Google Chrome from starting up on startup. So I've said startup so many times, but essentially next time I restart my computer, um, it should be fine and there shouldn't be Google Chrome and I'll have to open it up manually by clicking over here. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you guys some third party software such as CCleaner. And CCleaner actually helps you delete temporary internet files from Microsoft Edge and Firefox, Google Chrome, Win Windows Store, stuff like that. And honestly, you can just go ahead and click on wherever you want to delete and uh, go ahead and run the cleaner. Um, sometimes it does show a pop-up saying um, it can, there you're able to like remove like five gigs or ten gigs or whatever. So I highly recommend going through this every like week or something and go ahead and deleting things that you don't need anymore. And uh, last but not least, uh, there's one more thing that I want to talk about, and this is called Malwarebytes. And this is probably one of the best, if not the best, mal malware removal software. I highly recommend downloading this. Um, the scans don't really take that long. I just did a scan before I actually started this video. And uh, it took about 7 minutes and I've got a lot of files so um, that was pretty nice. 
So essentially this is a free software along with CCleaner and I highly recommend running this about like once a month or something just in case you've downloaded something that could be a virus or something like that and uh, yeah obviously you don't want that so all you have to do is go ahead and scan it now and it's going to run through your computer and see if it can find anything that's that could be harmful and stuff like that. But uh, I'm just going to let the scan go on even though I already did a scan but essentially that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. Uh, the main purpose of this video was to teach you guys how to like bring an old computer that's pretty slow uh, with today's standards back to life if that makes sense, or if your current computer has just been slow and you want to speed it up again. So essentially that's really it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.